Fractured Reflections, written by Shay Sweeney. Anyone's apartment. A small bathroom with a sink and a mirror. A small painting stands on the counter. There's a cupboard underneath. The mirror creates a wall between reality and hallucinations. Vita and Mori cannot interfere with anything besides anyone. They can force anyone to move and will fight over anyone's body. They can only exit the mirror when anyone starts to listen to them. Lights up. People are talking and laughing outside of the bathroom. Anyone hurries into the bathroom, shakily closing the door. They stumble over to the counter and grip it tightly. They're hyperventilating as they look into the mirror. Pretending to be happy just a bit too hard today? Maury steps through. They're not good enough distractions for you? Vita is banging on the mirror and screaming, but nothing is coming through. It's okay. Vita frantically searches for a way through. Did that help? You're still overwhelmed? Good job. I'm proud of you. You feel better after that, right? Talking is heard from the living room. Faintly making out that people are playing Dungeons and Dragons. Anyone looks at the bathroom door. Vita's voice slowly becomes louder. Anyone stands up and takes a step towards the door, but Mori grabs their hand and forces them to open the cupboard under the sink. Mori has anyone reach into the back of the cupboard for a kitchen knife. Anyone pulls it out and holds it precariously. All eyes are on the knife. Anyone starts to set the knife down, but Mori gently grabs anyone's shoulders and pulls them away from the counter. Mori starts to reach for anyone's hand holding the knife. Loud laughter is heard from outside the bathroom. Anyone notices Vita frantically trying to get their attention and mouthing names. Luca! Dakota, Reef, I guess ben. they give a shit about you. They do. But for how long? Ben's been here since you were ten. You're too exhausted. You met Luca and Dakota two years ago. You're overwhelmed. You have a lot going on. They'll, Take a day for yourself. They'll hate you more. No one hates you. <laughs> Need rest. You'll be a failure. You've been pushing yourself too hard. You can barely afford rent. It always works out. Does it? It's just a little tight. But if you're sick, or if your car breaks down... We'll figure it out, and, and you have people. You work fast food. You're in school, too. And going into debt for it. You'll pay it off. In 50 years. You've been applying relentlessly. An online art major. Wow, that's great on a resume. That receptionist job? You're still waiting to hear back. If they ever call. It's an amazing first step. And then you can start appraising art. You just need five plus years of experience. All you need... Is one person to give you a chance. You're not talented. One of your paintings was in the gallery down the street. Such a shitty exhibit. It was beautiful. The curator said you had a bright future. He was being polite. You love to paint and sing and hike and laugh. You haven't laughed in months. A few days ago, a few days ago, when Reese made that joke about wiener dogs, I always relish the time I spent with my wiener dog. <laughs> and, and and then there was also Oh god Life's better with a wiener by your side <laughs> Vita is able to make it through the barrier You're actually laughing at that bullshit Reese was laughing with you You're insane if you think that All of your friends were laughing They were mad at you for being too loud Stop You're always a burden Anyone's breathing becomes more rapid but they turn away from Maury to try to calm himself down. Luca asks you to come to her place. She just wants another seat filled. Dakota asks you for her and makeup tips all the time. Because he's too lazy to look it up. Naomi! Naomi calls you every week to catch up. You're just a great way to kill some time. Ben asks you to come over and pay his D&D figures. Because he doesn't want to do it. They all want you around. No, they don't. 
They threw you a surprise party. They planned it for months. Ben's house was decked out with decorations. They had that giant, atrocious Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog balloon. Mori tries to speak, but only whispers come out. They wrote you that one shot. All about your adventures through the Mushroom Kingdom to obtain the one ring to rule all the birthdays. Remember when you rolled that nat 20 on performance to seduce the guard and they made you actually act it out? Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark. <laughs> and then Reese, Reese and Ben joined in too. They gave you the soap bar that looks like a nat 20. Maury gets dragged back into the mirror again. They slam their hands against the mirror. Vita holds anyone and gently helps them put the knife down. Let's go finish the game. They're going to be so disappointed when they see your leg. They only came over so you don't do shit like this. No! They noticed you declining. So they... Had an intervention. They're really worried. They questioned you until you started sobbing. To make sure that you... They wanted to send you to a fucking mental hospital. They were asking if you were open to going. They're going to leave you there. It would only be a few days. Where they'll medicate the shit out of you. It would help. You've heard the horror stories. You could do research. You can't afford it. You can pay it back. Oh, well, what if they pay? They, they would. Oh, they, you'd steal from your friends? It's not true. You can't even get out of bed. Maury slowly comes out of the mirror and stands behind anyone. It's okay to hurt. As long as... You let it out. No one gives a shit. They came over. To babysit you. Anyone hits their own leg without Maury's help. Maury makes anyone grab the knife. Maury forces anyone to hold the knife's blade against their wrist. You won't be a burden anymore. Maury starts to help anyone put pressure on their wrist with the knife. Vita grabs anyone's wrist and pulls it away from the knife's blade. Maury and Vita begin fighting over anyone's body, taking turns with who is winning the battle. Maury and Vita slowly walk back behind the imaginary barrier of the mirror. Anyone goes back to the same motions of the fight, without Vita and Mori controlling their body. Anyone finishes the sequence and just stares at the knife. Laughter is heard outside the room again. Anyone opens the bathroom door. Help. 